I am pleased to introduce the student speaker for the class of 2019, Andrew Bernuka. Yeah, just, <laughs> Andrew was selected. You can stay. Okay. I'm just going to talk about you. Andrew was selected from among seniors who submitted their speeches for review. He is graduating today with a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. Please join me in welcoming Andrew Bernuka to the podium. Thank you. President Maniachi, Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, thank you all for being here today. I have, and I'm sure many of you also have, spent the past couple weeks reminiscing on the time we all spent here at AIC. It has been four years for me and the growth we have all undergone in that time, from big kids to young adults, is remarkable. Remember what freshman year was like? We were honestly all just trying to survive. Going out three times a week, even though none of us had the money to. Getting written up for the first time in Heinz Hall and skipping class because there was something just so liberating about being able to do that. For once in our lives, we truly were starting to command ourselves, our own direction, but boy, we were terrible at it. We survived it, we all scraped through by the skin of our teeth and made it into sophomore year. Sophomore year was an awkward year, but a critical one. We were no longer afforded the excuse of being freshmen. We had to begin owning our mistakes, owning the challenges we faced, and learning to deal with adversity. Adversity is something that we all faced in varying degrees throughout our time in college. Much of it arose in those middle two years, sophomore and junior year. That was where I faced it, with the loss of my mother in the summer before my sophomore year. I returned to AIC for the fall semester, curious about how I would heal as a person, if I would be able to go from this experience, and what type of person I would, be able, I would grow to become. All these questions lingered in my head because I remembered a lesson my father taught me as a child. It is adversity that introduces a man to himself. I was scared to meet myself at this time in my life. Many of us were, but AIC was not. That is what separates this college from others. American International College consistently believes in its students, regardless of the problems they face or the road they seem to be going down at any given moment. AIC steps forward and offers the resources and offers its students not only the resources they need, but the community they need as well. As I look out the crowd before me today, at all of my fellow graduates. I see brilliant, independent people who came here their own way and from their own backgrounds. With AIC's guiding hand, we learn not only how to be independent and confident in our own right, but about the strength of unity. We learn that it is commendable to be able to deal with our own challenges as individuals and admirable to face the adversity in the world, in our own country, as a united front that is diverse and without judgment based on race, faith, gender, or sexual orientation. While the leaders of America may have forgotten the meaning of the Latin phrase blazoned across the country's seal, e pluribus unum, out of many, one, AIC has not. This phrase, chosen by America's founders, represented the strength that it took for 13 colonies to unite as one nation. It embodied an everlasting message of the United States that making allies and helping each other is braver than seeking powerful sovereignty and independence. It is in this college's name to carry on this message with great pride. American, international. Although our country, our college, and many of us individually come from humble beginnings, it is the community we create that fosters our growth and excellence. It is our allegiances, our friendships and relationships, our faculty and mentors, that got us all here today. Their dedication to our success through adversity and triumphs speaks to AIC's motto, post tenebris, lux, after darkness, light. We, the class of 2019, now see the light as we prepare to walk across the stage and celebrate our successes together. 
It is important that we do not let these relationships and lessons end today, and that we carry them into this new journey we will all take. While today is a great moment of celebration and jubilation, I want to remind you of a much more esoteric Latin phrase on the back of our country's seal. Novus Ordo Seclorum, New Order of the Ages. The phrase rang true for the early leaders of this country, and it rings true for our graduating class. The adult world we will enter is not built by us, and thus, it is not built for us. Following today, it is our job to buck the status quo and no longer accept the world for simply what it is. Today does not signal that it is time to go out and work for the world. It signals that it is our time to go out and make the world work for us. All of us. Thank you.